my name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video regarding semantic UI and basically in this video I'm gonna be talking about uh, something that is really important this might be a little bit confusing to you but you know you're gonna be using it a lot in your projects so this thing is named as dimmers and basically what a dimmer is you know when you go off to a website and you go ahead and see there's some kind of dialog box which comes up and basically it just blurs down the background page or you know it just makes it completely black and it just gives it an overlay of that particular color now that's what exactly the dimmer does and basically we need javascript for using the dimmer so we are going to be going ahead and creating it. You can see I'm, I have left it right at the point where we, where we were at the last time. So I'm just going to remove all of these things. Let's just go ahead and keep the script tag uh, as it is. Um, I guess I deleted one more dev. Okay. And there we have it. That's how exactly it should look. So I want to go ahead and create a dimmer now so it is really easy and you know it is it is way more obvious for you if you are going ahead and uh, you know you are you want to have a blog of yourself and you want that people should subscribe to your newsletter and basically you know you need a little pop-up for that and creating pop-ups isn't really that easy so you know sometimes it just gives you a little bit extra effect the user gets a little bit more attention on that particular dialog box rather than all of the other things now you know you can use it in several different ways i don't really care but you know there are some really creative ways which we are we are going to be talking about uh you know we're not going to be talking about but we are going to be doing it in create while creating the website in the final chapter of this series so obviously we are going to be needing some elements over here and a little bit of script tag now the most important in here is the javascript that we are going to be using because it is not that you can use this for just a particular thing you know you can use it on everything that you want so let's just go ahead and get right into it so you know let's just say i have a ui dimmer and then inside of it i i want to have some content and obviously that is obviously how you create a dimmer and you know you can go ahead and throw in anything that you want uh, but you know i guess there's just one more thing it shouldn't be container but it should be a segment it doesn't really make any uh, any differentiation if you are creating it instead of container because container just goes ahead and shrinks down the web page size whereas the segment is like a card so you know let's just see it how it really works uh, you know I, I told you guys to go through the documentation of the semantic UI now if you have seen my previous videos like that so you know you are on the right path if you have seen the segment now I'm gonna be typing in the UI segment and I'm gonna be putting it right over here and then what I want is there should be some content and the content let's just say center with that content and I want a UI uh, inverted now the basically why I want this to be inverted is that you know uh, when we go ahead and put down the black thingy black overlay and we put down the black colored icons over there and black colored text over there it doesn't really make any sense uh, it will not really make any sense so I just want to go ahead and put in a few more things like this a warning icon oops and I want to go ahead and put in the air warning and there we go let's just go ahead and refresh the page now you're gonna be seeing a little segment right over here but obviously you don't see how where exactly the dimmer is well before anything like that I just want to go ahead and put that segment to be a little bit more you know in height so dot custom height I guess and then I want it to be like uh, say 60 pixels that should work no it shouldn't 
actually let's just say it will be 500 pixels uh, because I'm just showing it to you guys for the demonstration purpose now I want to go ahead and add in the little button or you know let's just see how it exactly really works so dollar and I want that now UI dimmer oh, oh sorry it, it became dinner UI dimmer to be dimmed so what I can do UI dimmer custom now basically it just targets this little element right over here so I want that it should be dimmer and I want it to say show it okay let's just go ahead and press F5 uh, nothing really happens I'm really sorry okay I'm really sorry guys because it was not able to take this little uh, custom because oh sorry I, I put it in the segment uh, after the segment so obviously it was not able to detect and UI dimmer it was obviously able to detect so it just went ahead and created this thing now the reason why I'm using this content and the center is to center these things right inside the page so obviously if you want to center it way more easily in the without using any kind of CSS you can simply throw in semantic UI put in their class named as content then put in class named as center and the all the things that you'll be putting in will be centered right inside that particular thing so obviously uh, this is the thing that we want and the next thing that I want to do is um, you know let's just go ahead and say that I want to hide it so I can simply just go ahead and say hide and basically it will not show up anytime soon so what I'm gonna be doing next what I'm gonna be trying to do is you know let's just go ahead and get down and put in there a button with UI button and I want that this button should have ID of um, you know toggle let's say so I just want to go ahead and toggle between uh, you know showing this overlay and not showing this overlay now obviously if you want that the user should scroll down and then suddenly it should turn that turn that into the faded thingy well you cannot really do that directly you need a lot of JavaScript for that uh, I and trust me I have tried it a lot so what I'm gonna be doing is simply put in dollar and then hash toggle dot click and yep I want to go ahead and run in a function and that function is obviously going to be dollar dot ui dot oops dimmer dot dimmer and I wanna just toggle it and let's just see how that how does that go I wanna click on it it toggles it in that so obviously this is how exactly it works um, I guess I didn't put anything inside here let's just say toggle and uh, I want and this to be massive button so that I can pretty much notice it okay so there we go and when we click on toggle it just toggles that warning uh, when we click back on it it just goes ahead and goes back to its original state now obviously it is not going to be the case every time that you want this to be inside the segment you might just want that this should be on the complete page so you know it is quite easy to do that one thing too so I'm gonna just gonna remove it well obviously you can go ahead and let's just say add two buttons in here um, I'm gonna copy it and paste it and say toggle one and toggle two and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in right over here and toggle one toggle two and then in one I want to show it and in one I want to hide it and let's just go ahead and change it according to that show hide and there we go and as soon as I click on show it just shows it and then I again click on show nothing really happens when I click on hide it just hides that particular element so the next thing that I want to do in here is uh, I forgot about it okay yeah so I just remembered it uh, you know I just want that this dimmer should be in the full page so what I'm gonna be doing in here I'm gonna remove this JavaScript over here uh, and then I'm gonna remove these two buttons too and then this segment no need of the style tag now because I don't really need a segment 
and remove this one maybe yeah um yep that's right so let's just go ahead and remove that one and this is the little dimmer that we want now i want to go ahead and put in here page dimmer now what exactly that does it just dims out the entire page of you so let's just say you know you have that entire page and i want to go ahead and put in their dollar dot ui dot page no not page just say dimmer and then i want to go ahead and say i don't know maybe i don't know why do i forget these things you know way more frequently than how much time i should and let's just go ahead and press f5 and you can see how it how it acquires the complete area so obviously you know this thing works just like that and if you have some particular content behind in here let's just go ahead and create a little bit of content in here i want to go ahead and put in a h1 this is a title and then i want to put in a paragraph with some lorem ipsum text and i want to copy this paragraph several times in here and then let's just go ahead and press f5 and now you can see how it exactly works you can see you can see content backside but you can't really you know see it directly as when you hide it so let me just go down and uh, say just comment it and you can see how does this look like and as soon as you remove it see how does that look like it just looks completely different you know it just adds a little bit of overlay in here and then it, it doesn't really blur out the content now in semantic ui this latest update that is 2.2 um, maybe you know two more updates behind uh in 2.0 they added this little thing named as blurring now obviously what you can do is blurred Wait a second, I'm gonna check it out in the quickly in the documentation below here. Uh, oh, oops. Uh, I wanna check it out in the documentation that whether it is blurring or blurred. Uh, it is blurring, alright. So you can see how it exactly does that new in 2.0. So, you know, you can add this little blurring segment. You know, I can simply just say UI blurring container I, i'm just testing it out all right don't blame me because so many of you are thinking that are you confused yourself dude like why the fuck would you do that and i'm like yeah i do confuse myself sometimes so obviously now it, it just really works so i put blurring container so that it blurs out the entire things and yes it does it it just perfectly does that thing so you know you can go ahead and blur out anything just go ahead and put in there blurring and you know that's pretty much going to be it it's it is just going to overlap that particular area with the blur and obviously this kind of error is going to be showing up and something like that might just happen okay uh so maybe it just went off and i clicked somewhere else so it just works like that all right so the next thing that i want to show you guys is uh what exactly you are going to be needing to do uh, what exactly you might be doing with the help of this so the very first thing you can go ahead and show the warning message number two you can go ahead and show them a loading screen obviously i i just shown you that little loader thingy over there so you know you can go ahead and put in there dot ui dot loader and you know it, it will just be showing you showing that particular person this kind of loader and you know uh, you can go ahead and do anything like that and basically it is going to make your work a lot more easy for laying other things so um, you know where, where when you will be using something like uh, that it will be completely different uh, topic obviously you know if you are using some kind of pop-up for your page i guess i have said it a lot of times in this video now but even though if you are using some kind of pop-up like that you know you're gonna be needing this kind of thing so let me just go ahead and remove this blurring let's just see what exactly happens if i say inverted blurring and no nothing um i guess it should be somewhere over here inverted page dimmer 
Oh yeah, and there's just one more thing that you can go ahead and invert this page dimmer. You know, not just page dimmer, but just even a dimmer, I guess. Yeah, that's just like that. Now, basically what it did was, you know, page dimmer takes up the entire page, whereas just the dimmer takes only the entire area where, you know, you're gonna be having that little particular thing. It just took up this little area, centered it right in there. So, obviously, that is going to be it for today's video, guys. So, I'm really sorry if I made this video a little bit too lengthy. I guess it is like 15 or 16 minutes or so, I guess. Yeah, it is 16 minutes and after editing it out it might be like 15 minutes or so so thank you guys so much for watching this video and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and peace out